Okay, so what's going on guys? I am back with another video after having not posted for the last few days. Um, I have some quick announcements to make. I actually got a headset for Christmas, so I hope the audio quality is better now because it has like an actual microphone and I'm not, not recording via the iPad anymore. And also, that means that I can now hear the game, so right now I'm hearing this world for the first time, which is kinda neat. And yeah, I think I'll stop doing these title screens at the beginning, because I think many people got turned off by that, because they thought there was no commentary, and they just thought I would have like text all the time for the entire video, because they clicked away before. Um, you could hear me, so yeah, I'll change that, and yeah, that's it, I think. Last time we um, like put torches all over the village, we secured it, and now our next goal is, I think, to get some decent gear, because um, although we found diamonds already, we don't... <laughs> Um, have an enchanted diamond pickaxe yet, and also we didn't enchant anything at all yet. So my um, plan is to first get sugarcane and cows, and for that last time we started a cow farm. Um, so we are gonna breed them, and then eventually we'll have enough leather to fully um, equip our enchantment table, so we can... Okay, a zombie, that's not good. But the funny thing is I could hear him now, actually, unlike all the other times. Um, so yeah, the plan is to get cows, to get leather, to fully um, deck out our enchantment table with books, yeah, bookshelves, um, so that we can get higher enchantments, and then I guess maybe we could go to the nether and get some XP, because we don't really have uh, a good way to get XP yet, so I think mining quartz would be the most viable thing to do. Um, so yeah, I keep on running around. Um, I wanted to see if maybe there are more cows outside, so we could like boost our population a bit. So there's one. Um, are there any more? Because one, I don't know if one would be sufficient for like making it better. Okay, so there's two. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get these two in here. Okay, weed, follow me. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with all the other stuff. Um, yeah, okay, maybe if they come in and I don't have to make any extra efforts, then I will get the sheep as well, but um, I'm not here for the sheep, I'm here for the cow, so. Oh wait, I could make this a lot smarter if I were to just um, break in where the um, like where the wall is and um, where the cow farm is. So okay, one, a few more. So like here. So now the plan is that all the animals just come here follow us in there, so, um, yeah, this doesn't work as I expected, <laughs> I had hoped that they could, would just come in here without any problems, but, okay, I guess, um, increasing the whole did the trick, no, don't, don't you dare get out there again, okay, um, 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 and now please let me through and seal this off before anyone can escape. Okay, great, we got more cows. Um, so, all the stuff that I didn't breed. Come on, get breeded. Get breeded, bred, I don't know. Okay, we got some more babies. And yeah, that will... That will boost our population a bit, I think. And now I am going back to our base, actually. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that cow. Um, so now I'm going back to our base again, so we can harvest the sugarcane. 
and then replant it and then I think we already have quite a lot of sugarcane. I mean like not a huge lot but at least some and I think I'm going in the right direction. Um, so we have like, I don't know, you need um, 15 bookshelves and every bookshelf requires 9 sugarcane. So it is 135 sugarcane you need for the entire thing. And it was like um, 45 leather. So yeah, I'm just gonna harvest this. Okay, it, it just grew the moment I was gonna click, that's great. So we got one more. So I'm gonna harvest this. Um, we got 44. Okay, there are some left behind. So if we got 40, 49 in total, so if I'm just gonna plant them, okay, you can't plant them on gravel, so I'm just gonna continue here. So that means if we harvest the entire thing once I've planted it all and it's all grown one stage, then it should be enough to finish our enchanted table. I mean if we have the leather, but yeah. And I'm really sorry if the audio is total crap because I am, yeah, I've just configured it in OBS which is the screen recorder I use and I tried to set up a noise gate and a um, background noise suppression and I don't know um, if they work as I want God, because it was quite tricky to get it set up. Um, I did a few tests but I didn't record any large thing and I mean, yes, I will test watch this video before I upload it to YouTube. So if there are like any major problems, I might um, make like cut the sound out and um, I, I'm missing the word, but like um, talk while it's playing. So like as a commentary afterward, if the live thing is not, is total garbage. And yeah, we're just going to have this as well while we're at it. And then I think we, yeah, I don't know, the sugarcane, it just needs time. Um, what do players usually do while waiting on stuff? Yeah, they do other stuff, but which other stuff should I do? Okay, so I guess I could put away the blocks I don't want. Um, yeah, we, got, we already got an ender pearl last episode, so that's kind of good. Um, I didn't want to put the bed in there. Like this, and gunpowder is valuable, I guess. And then the fences, and... Okay, we've got two torches left. Um, oh yeah, we should totally sort that stuff as well. Um, so I'm just gonna take it, and oh, we could... Do we have coal? Because if... Okay, we don't, because I was going to say we could smelt all our iron. So I guess I'm just gonna quickly grab some coal so we can smelt our iron because we have the time to kill and I think smelting iron is, okay, it's not really entertaining but at least we can do stuff and I don't really have much time for this episode so if I um, seem like a bit fast and if I seem like I don't have any concrete plan what we are doing today, um, yeah, that's because I actually don't have a plan, um, yeah. So I have, I think we could um, get like uh, one or two other coal veins because we don't have any torches so we don't um, have the ability to go in further and further because we don't have torches and I don't want to make um, some more because I mean, okay, what did my mouse do? Um, because yeah, we while well, we could make new ones, I don't want to bother all with all that stuff. So was there coal up here anymore? No, there would be iron. Okay, so I guess the Optifine light thingy is helpful. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay, I guess, no! I should have seen that coming! Crap, I just wanted to eat. Stupid game. 
Okay, tower with iron ore, not the greatest, but <laughs> at least it's something. So now we can eat, mine all that stuff again. Okay, we have the salt in our hotbar, so we can murder it. <laughs> I hope I don't get, like, they, YouTube doesn't um, do bad things to me because I say murder and stuff like that, but <laughs> yeah, okay, um, I won't go up there. Because there are evil things which I don't want, so maybe this direction. And if not, I'm just gonna stop caving. Because, I mean, technically we already have enough because I needed like, I don't know, 8 for a stack and then for the others, half stack. Yeah. Like 4, so yeah. Yeah, that would make 12 and we got 27, so. I think I'm gonna stop because we went caving. Oh crap, 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 we got, forgot to sleep and I... I don't know, I'm kind of paranoid because I don't really trust in the thing we put around the village because there are some areas that are... Like, if stuff were on the trees, um, it could just walk in, I mean... Yeah, it's like... a not really um, well-based um, paranoia because, first of all, I think the village isn't even loaded when we're back here. And second of all, um, like stuff can't spawn on trees and the chance of it getting on a tree is really low, but I mean it could still happen so I feel like I should do something against it. And now while we're at it we could really make one of these shiny new furnaces. Oh right, can we? No we can't. We need to make the stone that's required and I guess we don't have any stone at all. Okay, so um, 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 we're just gonna go back down to the mine and take a few cobblestone. I don't know if you have to, um, like, if it's normal clean stone or the one that is smelted through another time. So I'm just gonna make normal clean stone and then we'll see. Or we just could look in the book if it shows up because the book is kinda picky um, concerning the stuff it wants to show us. Okay, it doesn't show us the blast furnace yet, so. I'm just gonna make all the ingredients and then we just try out to make it and if if it doesn't work I'm just gonna slam these stones through the furnace once again. So we got three of them now. We unlocked stuff. Did we unlock the blast furnace? Um, we unlocked the stone cutter. Okay, great. Is it called stone cutter? Stone cutter, yeah, okay. So furnace, iron, and then these. Okay, I guess we need the other annoying stuff. So, in there, and another round trip to. I don't know. Somewhere. I guess I should close this. And yeah, maybe I could get rid of the spider because, it, at least for me, it's quite loud. Okay, so, I mean, yeah, you are peaceful, but. I can't have you because you make sounds. <laughs> okay, um, there doesn't seem to be anything else, so I hope I'm not gonna get ambushed by a creeper one day. So now we unlocked more stuff. Did we? Yeah, blast furnace. Okay, great. Um, well, actually, I don't have the setting that you have to have it unlocked to be able to craft it, but it won't show up in the book and. If I remember something wrong, the book is actually quite useful. So, yeah. Blast furnace, and this thing is able to smelt um, like ores, but not sand. That's quite sad, but sand not, only ores. Um, in double three speed, so we can put it in, and you can see it's much faster. It only takes five seconds and not ten seconds. And, yeah, okay, so it burns fuel um, at double the speed, but because it's um, double the speed for smelting the stuff too, it just um, cancels out and the amount of coal per stuff you want to smelt is f still the same. So it's 8 coal for one stack because one coal can smelt 8, smelt eight things. So, uh, okay, I'm not gonna wait for all this stuff to go through, but I'm j yeah, I'm just gonna start sorting all this stuff and then maybe it's finished when we are done.
Okay, string. I'm just gonna put it in here. The map is a tool. Um, yeah. Do we have sugar cane in here? No, we don't. Okay, so if we had, I might just have tried to enhance it once more. But I'm not gonna run out there and take sugar cane because it's not grown. And yeah. So the shield is maybe useful and wood. Okay, we are out of wood as well. So maybe we'll go collect wood this episode. Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna start planting a tree because with spruce you can do this neat trick where you just put um, four things next to each other and if there's sufficient space it'll grow one of these big ass trees that is like 30 blocks tall. Okay, not 30 but it's two by two and not just one by one and it's tall and um, there are different variants and some of them you don't get your first saplings back because it has two little leaves, so you got to be careful. But usually you get them um, if you remember to come back, obviously, from the saplings that have dropped down. But the main thing is you can get like a stack of wood or even more of them. So this is really efficient if you want to um, get more wood. And I guess I'm just gonna take the bones and... Maybe, do we have more? Yeah, we have more. So I am just gon gonna show you what it looks like and hope our axe is enough. Okay, I think it is because one iron axe is... Um, wait, I don't have the... No, not F3B, F3H for the advanced tooltips. So now we can see the durability. We have 149 out of 250, so yeah. Okay, now look. This is one with rather um, a rather large amount of leaves and now we can just make a staircase and it's convenient that you can make a staircase in this tree so you can just go up in like this and then when you're at the top you just stand in the middle and yeah destroy all the other blocks from the top down and I guess that's also a good activity to do while the furnace is melting stuff and okay, I feel like my spacebar sometimes doesn't register, maybe because I'm clicking it really at the side and not in the middle, but yeah, it works when I um, actively press where I want, so that's good enough. Um, so we're just gonna take this down. Um, and then we need to wait for the saplings and also you might have seen it made this um, place of puzzle around the base and um, that's just a thing these huge trees do. Normal trees, normal spruce trees don't but these do. And unlike um, spruce, uh, unlike dark oak trees, spruce trees um, you can you can have the one white variant or the two white variant um, with dark oak you have to make the big variant and also these trees are just um, way cleaner than dark oak because in dark oak you like they fork out in all directions and they are not as tall and these just two by two straight up and only at the top sometimes it doesn't um, finish a full two wide layer but it doesn't get outside of the bounding box where you planted them so it's um, like really nice and efficient if you want to get wood manually. I guess it's apart from like having someone run behind you and replant trees and you just destroy a forest, I think it's one of the most efficient ways to get wood without a machine for it. And concerning machines, while we're at it, I don't know if I will like do big machine stuff in this world because I don't know if I can make it without screwing up 10 times and I don't think that would be entertaining to watch. And yeah, maybe I will do stuff off camera like I'm gonna say okay now we build this and then I build it off camera and then I cut back in when it's done but yeah. Okay so I guess we already have enough saplings. Maybe if we we're, if we remember we are just gonna come back to get some more because items despawn every five minutes so we shouldn't wait forever but I don't want to wait anymore and it's really boring so I'm just gonna 
Oh, it's finished. So I'm just going to continue sorting all the stuff we got. And I guess I should reload our furnace. And oh, we got sugarcane in this chest. So I was, I totally missed it um, when I was looking in there just a moment ago. So we're going to take 40 iron because 40 is dividable, divisible. I don't know. You can divide it by 8, so it's efficient if we burn it with coal. Um, so you go in here. And you, and I guess you are stuff for that as well, and you, and you, and you, and then you, and then you in here, you are valuable, um, yeah, the wheat is also for here, dirt, um, redstone, lapis, iron, music disc, golden apple, diamond, and I guess the horse armor is a tool, and then the bow, and the crafting table we're gonna keep, and then the last few items, and you are a tool, and you go in here, and I guess I could label them, but I don't want to, and it's getting dark again, so we need to be ready to sleep, and yeah, I guess we, yeah. Almost sleep. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I was trying to calculate in my mind how long it would take for one stack to burn through. So if one um, thing takes five seconds and one stack has 64, that's 320. If I'm not totally wrong, 320 seconds. So that would be a bit more than five minutes. Okay, so this would take like one minute and a bit. So I'm just gonna go outside it it grew oh my god okay so i was to say check, i was going to say check on the um decaying leaves but actually just now a normal tree grew again i don't know why it happened so fast because usually it takes quite a lot of time um yeah so the other leaves are obviously not going to decay because now they are connected to a um log again but we got five more saplings, saplings, so I think that's good enough. And we're just gonna put them in here as well. And the sticks go in here. And what is... yeah, and look, it already smelted half of it, so that's... that's something. And what else can I tell you about? Well, um... Yeah, it's... And for Christmas, I could tell you, I got a, the headset, as I said. And my father actually gave it to me because um, we had like these online classes. And I was doing them with my laptop, which is like from 2010. But the laptop had a webcam and a microphone and my PC did not, so I had to do it with that. But now um, I got a headset and a webcam, so I can do them on the big screen. And... That also means that I could improve the audio quality for this, for the Let's Play or the other videos I'm going to make. And the big thing I got is a 3D printer actually. So um, it's called Artillery Genius and no, I'm not paid by them to say that and they don't even know I exist probably. But it's an Artillery Genius and it's really easy to set up. It was really easy to set up, you just have to assemble a li very little amount of things and then you have to do some he height calibration and that's it basically and then you can just I could just plug in the USB and get started and print the test cube that was on there already um, and that worked out really nice and then I printed like the Banshee ship I don't know if you know it um, it looks something like this where it I'm just gonna make a pixel art for you, yeah. Um, yeah, like that is just a ship, basically, that's used for testing things. Okay, wait, it's got a chimney, so like that or something. Um, and it has like extreme curves and overhangs and not supported stuff at all, so it's like a benchmark for 3D printing. And that came out quite well, and today I spent like four hours trying to print a starship like the SpaceX thing 
Um, because it screwed up one time, and then because I didn't make any supports and it just can't print vertically in the air without anything under it, so I had to make some supports, or basically let the program generate some, and then I could do it, and then it worked out. And I ordered some new filament, so that's like the plastic you use for it, because I only got black one, and that's kind of boring, so I got a white and red one as well. And maybe eventually I'm just gonna um, yeah, order some more. And I yesterday already I made a like a bit of stuff from Star Wars. I made like a very primitive X-wing and a um, what's it called uh, the Tie Fighter thing. Which this one came really um, came out really well in black because they are black, and I made a Millennium Falcon which screwed up, so I had to print w half of it again and then glue it together. B but in the end, it worked out, and I made a place in my shelf for all the stuff. And yeah, it's it's quite fun actually, and. I have to say I didn't make the models myself, I just downloaded them from Thingiverse, someone else made them, and then I printed them, so yeah, that's it I guess, what I could say about that for now. Um, I should eat, and then is the sugarcane grown, can we even see it? Yeah, it's like one stage, um, how much do we have in here? Yeah, 64 and 3, so... I'm just gonna look and see if it has grown, and if it has, I'm gonna harvest it. Oh, well it has, okay great. I actually didn't know that it would grow so fast, because I thought one stage is 20 minutes. I mean, I could be mistaken and one stage is 10 minutes, or the full thing is 20 minutes. Or I'm completely lost and 20 minutes already passed, but um, I thought they didn't, so yeah. I'm just gonna collect it, and it's almost enough. Um, because one stack is 64 and then we need like a bit more than two stacks and we got one stack and 55 so that's quite great. Um, I'm not gonna replant them because they wouldn't grow fast enough anyway. Um, okay, no. They would grow fast enough but by the time they grew all of this grew, grow will grow as well and then we would have enough anyway so I don't bother. So yeah, we got 124. We need 135 and I guess we should check up on the cows because the cows are the limiting factor I feel. Because the wood, um, I just got some because I thought yeah well you need wood and I don't have one. Have some. But it was a really big brain move because we actually need a lot of wood for the bookshelves because every bookshelf needs six planks and we need um, 15 bookshelves and so it's about 22 logs and we wouldn't have had that if we hadn't um, made the huge tree and chopped it down so that is some good advanced planning I did and I'm just gonna return to the village and yeah, I'm pretty sure it was, wasn't was loaded, so I don't know if we can breed them again. Maybe it wasn't that much of a big brain move to make the farm in the village, but I didn't want to um, haul the cows around the entire map. Mm. And while we're here, I guess, guess we could take this cow with us, because we're going in this direction anyways. I mean, if I can get it in the cage without having all the other stuff escape. But that would work, and um, no, if that would work, that would be great. And then we could maybe breed them again to get some more leather. So, um, oh, right, he can't get in there. Um, 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 how am I going to do that? They don't just go for that, right? No, they don't. Okay, because the nether animal thing, piglins, so not like the ones that are like a boar, but the ones that are like, um, oh, no, 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 the ones like, the, the, the ones that replaced zombie piglins 
um, they will go for gold that's lying on the floor and so I thought these might too now but they don't so yeah. So we got them in here, we can't breed them again, okay that's sad. Okay wait, um, they, they, they also need to get in. Um, I'm just gonna make a big brain move and make a like a ramp because that should enable them to get in there and the others still can't get out but I can get out where the carpets and then I can just remove this and this worked rather nicely and I think I should have done that for the other cow as well but I didn't um, is there iron left? yeah one okay great but I mean one iron is better than non iron <laughs> okay you say no iron but I wanted to do the rhyme um, yeah so we did that and I guess we could steal some potatoes but I'm gonna replant them so don't worry so I'm just gonna take the potatoes and not the carrots because carrots um, are really bad for eating because potatoes you can like bake them and they give I think two and a half or three hunger bars even and raw carrots give like feel like I think one and you can't cook them so it's not worth it and then we could maybe still in this episode start a potato farm for us so not for the villagers um yeah I think we yeah we would need to make a new hole or do we and we have one but okay so I'm or always thinking about stuff and I'm not telling you something and then some words I tell you and then it probably sounds <laughs> like some jumbled mess but am I okay it wasn't right um, I was just thinking about that one hoe is um, for like 250 and our field is like 9 by 9 and one in the middle where there is water so it's like 80 um, places so technically the hoe would have more than enough capability to do another field for us of that size so I think there's nothing in the way um, from us to make this field now today in this episode so we have at least something we could put on our thumbnail and perhaps any one of you watched the last episode in the end we did two screenshots and I wanted to put them both on the thumbnail but um, Microsoft Paint didn't let me make it so that like one part of the image is the one image and the other part is the other one with like a nice separation in between. The best it could do was like side by side with a hard cut in the middle and this didn't look good so I didn't bother and I chose one of the two. I don't remember which one but I decided for one and not both. And yeah so if anyone is watching this right now and wondering um, about the other episodes yeah they do have commentary in them there is just text in the beginning because I thought I should make la like some kind of intro sequence but um, it backfired and uh, the people didn't watch it because they uh, I assume that could be one of the reasons people didn't watch it because they thought there was no voice and only text and yeah I said that in the beginning but I'm just I'm running out of stuff to talk about so I just reused that um, so we got enough dirt to fix anything if we need for the farm and a hoe and a water bucket and torches, 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 we need torches and um, so yeah the point I wanted to get across, across is that if there's anyone that just joins in with this episode because a lot of people clicked away the other episodes like after 10 seconds so they didn't get to the point where there's commentary but there is um, yeah I wanted to say if anyone's new um, be welcome to my channel and I hope you stay and maybe watch some of the other videos I did and yeah um, maybe you will subscribe that's the first time I mentioned that in a video <laughs> I don't know if I feel should feel like proud or bad or embarrassed or something but if you want to subscribe you can 
And I guess we are just gonna make the farm like next to this. And what else could I say? Yeah, um, I did a video about the snapshot and when you are a YouTube video maker you can see um, like the time, the average viewing time and was like at 10 seconds. And also it didn't really get many clicks because I get, guess the thumbnail wasn't as eye-catching. Because you can also see the um, an estimated amount of times your video thumbnail has been suggested to someone. And that was quite high compared to the Let's Play um, videos. Because I guess many people are searching for 1.17 Minecraft cave update because it's gonna be a fantastic thing. But, um, okay, we don't have a shovel, but the thing is... The few people who clicked just clicked away, and that's kind of sad. Um, so I am maybe even making a different kind of thumbnail for this video. Something that's a bit more catching, because... I mean, yeah, I'm doing this for entertainment and fun, but... Um, I don't know, maybe you know, it makes people feel sad when you put in effort and absolutely no one watches it. I got some views on the other videos and even comments from some guys and even subscribers, but since then more or less nothing has happened and that's a bit sad I feel like. So yeah, enough talk with the YouTube stuff. Um, we're just gonna make some... Oh. Yeah, we made torches. I'm, I'm just gonna place them down. So this is lit up as well, and the other thing I wanted to do, um, it's a small thing, but it's a quality of life thing, I guess. We can make trap doors and put them over here, so it's we can walk over it and don't fall in, and we can even place a torch, but if we do this, it goes away, so I don't know if I want to place torches, but I mean, I can place them and then we'll just see how long they last before I accidentally mess something up like I just did here. Um, so, that's also wrong. Like this. Okay. Now we're done. Um, I'm just gonna make a screenshot now because I'm really running out of time. So, F5, F5, turn that way. If, no, I'm just gonna. Yeah, do, uh, I'm gonna make it away and then screenshot. Uh, no. Five was the button I was looking for. Okay, so we got a screenshot and I have four minutes left before we're going to have dinner. So I'm just hurrying over to the village and maybe breed the cows, but I don't think the timer has reset yet because we still didn't load it in. So I guess in the next episode or for the next episode I will plan something that we can do in the village so that in the background our cow population will grow steadily so that we could maybe make the enchantment table next episode. So yeah, we're just gonna break in and eventually we're gonna make a f um, better entrance because <laughs> breaking into the village by murder not murdering, okay, with a wall it's definitely not murdering, but by um, destroying the wall it's not um, a thing that you normally do when you enter a village. So, can we breed you? Yeah, we we, we can! Okay, great, great. Um, so we get more babies. And I guess for the beginning, maybe this would also serve as some kind of way to get XP, because you get, if we have a, a really large population, you get quite a lot of XP when breeding them and also then when murdering them. Okay, so now here the term fits. Um, yeah, when you murder them and I guess you could say kill, but I don't know. I always said murder. I don't know. And you could get XP by trading with these dudes because some of them actually have traits that are not total garbage. So, especially farmers, but not that one. But like the ones um, to whom you can sell potatoes and carrots or pumpkins and melons, those are good be because you can automate that stuff really easily. I don't know if I can or if I will, but you can do that. And the librarians are good because you can... Why are there so many networks? 
because you can sell them paper and a sugarcane farm is also fairly easily to make. And you know, I'm wondering about the nitrates. Okay, yeah. I keep getting um, off my path what I was going to say, but if you look at this one, he, um, you can sell him carrots, and if we made a carrot farm, which I don't know if I will do it, but if we did that, we could sell him these carrots and get emeralds that way. And you, yeah, we just checked. Okay, so we have two, um, no, three. Yeah, this one is good. Um, three of these farmers. And, okay, I guess if we go back and load him back in, the um, offers will reset because they reset if you haven't traded with them and I don't see anything I could sell him now. Okay, maybe I'll just stick around long enough to get potatoes, but I don't think they have grown yet. Um, but the thing is that, um, what I was going to say originally, is that um, yeah, there are quite a lot of nitwits here, and don't confuse nitwits with um, professionless villagers, because if there is a profession professionless villager, um, he has a brown coat, and if you put a workstation near him, he and it's the right time of day, he will get that job and become something useful. But if you um, have a nitwit, you can't do anything to make them get a job. And the green ones are the nitwits, and as I said, or as I think I said, um, dropless villagers are brown, so we don't have any of those, we just have the green nitwits. And if you are wondering why I am harvesting carrots, I feel like um, the villagers also don't harvest carrots as often. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. But there are more ripe carrots. Maybe because, just maybe because I took all the potatoes last time. But maybe I will get enough, okay, yeah, I will get enough carrots to do a trade with this guy. So we can lock him in. Okay, here's another one. Okay, no, that's the one from earlier that we didn't want. So it was either you, yeah it was you, okay, so we can lock this in. We got our first emerald, we got our first deal, and we locked him in. So if we unload it, it won't disappear, this trade option. And it's getting dark, and also my time has run out. So, yeah, I got like, I guess, 40 minutes of footage now, and... I assume that's enough for one episode because that's basically the stuff I had for the other episodes as well. Um, maybe even some more because yeah, we didn't do any time lapses, so maybe I will cut something out because 40 minutes is 40 minutes is really hard to watch. But um, yeah, I have to end it here now. So see you guys again in the next episode and goodbye everyone.